The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day from TFNN. Welcome to the May 31st. The fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Stevie. Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's have an extraordinary one. And, of course, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're gonna go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what the buyers and the sellers are communicating. To you and I just passed, well, it's eight o'clock in the morning. That's right, if you're listening at the normal time at 1.07 in the afternoon, this show has been recorded from eight to nine this morning. I'll try to make it as pertinent as I can for you today. Uh, try to provide you with some values to look at as you get into that uh, one o'clock uh, time frame. certainly at uh, today's close. But if you are listening live, we would love to hear from you. Now, the easiest way to do that is to give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't do that, you can always send me an email, steve at tfn.com. If you're listening during the 1 o'clock show, don't don't send me the email. I won't obviously be able to respond until, uh, until Monday. And many things can change between now and Monday. And, of course, in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got the Dow Equity Futures contract trading down 282 points, a little over 1%. 24,908 is the print. S&P is down 32 points, a little over 1%. Everything's over 1%. NASDAQ, 1 and 4 tenths percent, or 104 points to the downside. Russell 2000 off 19 points. Gold is up 10 bucks, trading out at 1302. Uh, silver is uh, flat. As we speak, so no action, Jackson. There, Lightspeed crude is down a buck sixteen, trade down to fifty-five and change. Let's begin with our first request. This is coming in earlier this morning from Michael. Uh, Michael is. Uh, let me get the message up here. Uh, Michael writes in. Hey, Steve. Hey, Michael. Mike says I sold TZA yesterday. I'd like to buy it back. Can I talk about TZA in the show today? Yep. So Mike from Nashua. Let's go take a look at the, let's begin by looking, so the TZA folks, for those of you that don't know, we have put that up on the screen for you. The TZA is the uh, ultra short, uh, or the 3X short of the Russell 2000. And so we've got that up on the screen, but really because this is a triple, whether it's a triple, the double, or what have you, um, what we're going to do in order to answer Michael's question, we really need to go take a look at the equity futures contract, see how that is trading. Now, those of you that listen in on the show regularly, you know we have a handful of patterns that we use that help us identify tops and bottoms. We also use a bunch of tools out here, number tools, to help us identify support and resistance for multiple time frames out here. Let's begin by taking a look at the daily time frame chart for the Russell 2000. Now, one of the things that we know about this is that it has been trading in a consolidation pattern. That's the black rectangular pattern that we're looking at. And it really takes us back into the early part of February 2019. Yeah, so in the case of the Russell 2000, all we have to do is take a look where equity futures contract where price is trading. That would take us back into the trading session January 17th. Mm -hmm. January. But let's not, let's, let's not uh, digress in uh, beginning and, and talk about time so much. Let's take a look at patterns that are out here. So one pattern in play is the consolidation pattern. When you break the consolidation to the upside or to the downside, what it does is it gives you a measured move equal to or greater than that consolidation. So let's just redraw that rectangular box and get it approximate. Well, that's not a rectangle. 
That's interesting. What tool did Stevie... Stevie chose the ellipse tool when he was trying for the rectangle tool out there. Well, you can tell it's a bit early in the morning. So here, for Michael, what Michael's perhaps looking at, or Mike is looking at, is, hey, you know what? The Russell 2000 broke the consolidation pattern, and therefore its measured move should be down about 1381.20 or at 14.66. Now, Michael, I would say, if that's the case, then just jump on board right now. Not so fast. Not so fast. We saw the Russell 2000 break above the top of its consolidation. It did that on May 3rd and May 6th. Interesting, a Friday and a Monday. Now, on May the 3rd, price broke to a higher high. Price was doing it with less relative energy. And what it also did was it made wave number seven. Now, I say wave number seven. It's letter G on my system out here. At the bottom of that consolidation on the trading day of March 25th, if you start doing your Chapman wave count to the upside, uh, that's what you got, wave seven. And again, price moving higher with less relative energy. A caution sign, Mike, to say at that stage, if you were going to go ahead and say the same thing, this thing broke, the Russell 2000 equity futures contract, broke above the top of its consolidation, therefore giving you a measured move, and therefore you should go along just based upon that, giving you a measured move up to the uh, price target of 1715. Well, that didn't come to fruition, right? Because there's a handful of tools that you and I use. We recognize, now it doesn't work always, but we recognize that oftentimes what we see our tops and bottoms at the exact same point in time when things are euphoric or things are just dismal is all holy heck out there. But because we're guided by these principles of potential tops and bottoms, more likely to happen when these patterns exist, wave number seven as one of them, price moving higher, doing less relative energy as another one of them, uh, a TD setup nine count, another one of them, with the higher low occurring on bars eight, nine, or ten. Well, if you look at the top of the consolidation, Mike, and we take ourselves all the way back to the trading day of February 25th, this price was, in essence, setting up that consolidation pattern it was bar number the bar following bar number nine that was the high of that system well michael what we have today is a break of the consolidation it's clear but as we speak right now we're also in bar nine of that same td setup nine count that doesn't mean that you can't see a lower low on monday remember the higher low in this case here the low can take place on days nine days eight nine wasn't yesterday could it be today possible could it be Monday? Possible. You really won't know till Tuesday. So now I don't know if it's an intraday trade that you're looking for, if it is. So on a daily basis, this says to me, at least, because patterns repeat over and over again, we don't know if this breakdown is a false breakdown or not. Because of this potential bottom signal inside the Russell 2000, I say caution, Will Robinson. Now, Michael may be interested in, in uh, taking a look at some type of intraday trade out there. Well, that's a different setup. Michael, here's what I would say at this stage as of 8.14 in the morning. Let's take a look at a 30-minute time frame chart. This says if you want to buy TZA, sell it as the equity futures contract gets into resistance. That level, I'm not saying it'll get up there, but your sell area would be 1475.50 inside the Russell 2000. Not here at 1466. Steve Roach with TFNM. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow Futures down 289, S&P up 33. If you're listening at 118 in the afternoon, it's actually 818 in the morning, recording today's show between 8 and 9. We're going to try to make it as pertinent as we can. Uh, but we do have uh, folks that are up. We've got listeners. And uh, so Alex writes in and he says, uh, hi, Steve. Hi, Alex. Alex says, uh, he's talking about the ES Mini. Let's put the 30-minute time frame chart up here so you can take a look at it. Uh, Alex goes on to say, last night, the ES Mini took eight minutes to react to uh, uh, President Trump's tweets out here. Here's the 8 o'clock bar that you can take a look at on the, um, on the ES Mini. Uh, that seems unusual. Do you have any thoughts on that? Took eight minutes. No, not really. You know, here's here's my take, Alex, and and this goes to Mike as well, and and everybody else that's listening in. And that is, um, let me let me do it this way. Let me let me do it. Let me do it. Um, let me do it like this. I'm gonna open up a chart. I'm gonna open up a blank chart. Here's a blank chart of the uh, Dow. In fact, let me just put this on just simply a. Uh, a monthly time frame for for the heck of it out here and in in this monthly chart out here um, there are lots of different things that take place during the month during the day during the week or what have you and uh, all that can be just as important as for example the the the, the tweet that uh, Alex here mentioned with regard to tariffs in Mexico but when I go back and I take a look at patterns when I go take, because I'm a pattern, you're a pattern, I, I, we took a look at the Russell 2000, the patterns that were out there. And uh, when I go back at history, I don't know what took place on that date. I don't have a memory good enough. There's no charting software that I'm aware of that allows me to go ahead, and it, maybe it exists out there, and says, geez, on this date here on October 3rd of uh, 2018, when the Dow made its top, what, what news event was related to that that created that as the top? Instead, um, so I'm really agnostic as to news or when, when Alex, maybe whether it was 8.01 or 8.08 or whatever time it was that it took before the market began to sell off, to me, it's more about the patterns that are in play out here. Because these are patterns. For example, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top and bottom pattern out there. 
Um, this has existed, if you go back 130 years, it's been present before the beginning of every bear market. Just because... every single bear market. So it doesn't really matter about headlines and so forth. You can go back and take a look at the TD setup nine count pattern out there. Uh, this pattern works all time frames, all instruments. So instead, you know, Alex, what I like to do is just say, hey, you, 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 you referred to the ES mini. Let's just take a look at the ES mini. Let's see if there's any patterns out here. Uh, there aren't the same type of patterns uh, same style of patterns that were in the Russell 2000. Uh, here, today is likely going to be bar count seven of that TD setup, nine count. The only pattern in play inside the ES Mini uh, is the A to B equals CD down pattern. Well, it's at least one of them that you and I can look at. And so in the case of the ES Mini, uh, this would suggest to you and I that price should target 27.32 in that general area. That's the one to one A to B equals CD pattern. Now, do you sell that pattern just because it is the one to one A to B equals CD? Now, what I will share with you is I used to do that. When I began my uh, entree into technical analysis, I was like, hey, this is cool. I got the A to B equals CD tool. I had that on the uh, Ensign software out there. Great charting package. I don't use that any longer. I've got my own tools uh, that I've built for either the Ninja Trader application or eSignal versus Ensign Windows out there. But if you're looking for an A to B equals CD tool, they've got it built in there. Um, and uh, and then when I got the schnot kicked out of me, you know what I mean? Like you're ready for a good fight, you step into the ring and poof, you just get hit and clobbered out there. Then you start going back and trying to figure out, well, what did I miss? I didn't miss the A to B equals CD pattern. That was pretty easy to project, just as it, we have it here at 27.32. Does price have to stop there? No, it does not. Why? Because then what I was also doing was I was taking courses, reading books uh, with regard to Japanese candlestick charting out there. What I recognized, what I realized was Japanese, Japanese candlesticks on their own are interesting, but you can't just trade off of them. What I also found is the A to B equals CD pattern was interesting too, but you can't just trade off of it either. What you have to have is the combination of two. That's really the beauty of these markets, being able to take multiple tools, meld them together, because that's how the market, as Tom likes to say, talks, walks, and squawks. For me, it's with patterns and candlesticks more than it is with volume. For Tom, it's more about volume. For David, it's more about volume and the power law of vector indicator. That is the beauty of TFNN is that you don't get the same information regurgitated over and over and over again to you. You get different eyes that take a look at different things that have different experiences. And my experiences are, with regard to patterns, you've got to have both. Case in point out here, if you were just going to go ahead and trade the A to B equals CD pattern, you would have been short treasury bonds, the 30-year treasury bond. You could have found all the reasons in the world, I found all those same reasons in the world, why you should have been short treasury bonds. Because after all, it hit the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD pattern at 153 and change out there, spot on and beautiful. Of course, price was also rising, doing a less relative strength out there. That rose momentum indicator top, but uh, did you get a bearish reversal signal? And if you were trading the futures contract, you got the schnot kicked out of you by taking that pattern. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Well, do it if you want, but do it at your own risk and peril out there. The market... The market participants, the buyers and sellers, they've got one role for you and I to create those bullish or bearish reversal candles. When they occur during the middle of the move, they're just interesting. It's like reading a novel and, oh, that was interesting, and then you go to the next chapter. Well, the next chapter here, or the book doesn't end, or the pattern doesn't complete until you get that reversal signal. We can see here with regard to the 30-year treasury, that it's headed up towards its next target at 155. It'll do that until, and it can go beyond that because the 1 to 1.618 is 157. So I'm not saying 155 is the be all to end all. I'm just saying it's the next target. And anywhere along this path, when a bearish reversal signal does form, well, then we may have a top in this pattern. There's other things that we'll want to take a look at as well. So what do I think about the delayed action? Really not much. In the case of the ES Mini, 
Uh, where is the ES headed to? Well, we saw the A to B equals CD pattern. There are other things that we can use, such as horizontal trading ranges out here. If we take a look at the ES mini, what this shows is we've got a conglomeration of uh, weekly, daily, and monthly horizontal trading ranges that come together between 2714 and 2728. On a daily basis, there have been 51 opens or closes at that 2728 area, relatively close to the A to B equals CD pattern. Now, how, this seems like in conflict to what Michael was asking me about. Should he just jump on the TZA train right now? We'll see in the ES Mini on its daily chart, I don't have the same bottoming signal as we do inside the Russell 2000. So all that I can go with here, Alex, is the next price target appears to be the 2714 to 2728 level. And that's for the ES Mini. So when we come back, let's go take a look at the NQ. What is it signaling to you and I? We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, John in Sarasota wants to take a look at a couple of symbols out here. Whiting Petroleum, WLL is the ticker symbol. And... Uh, is just asking what what is it that we see for Whiting Petroleum? So right now, well, first it closed at 1888. It's trading it, it in the pre-market. Last trade fired off at uh, 1825. So 1825.
John is going to take it down below the uh, swing point out here from December 26. So this is already testing the lows. Now, volume in this equity yesterday was light. The volume, by the way, on the 26th was 9.5 million shares. Yesterday, which was not a test, was 5 million shares, 6 million the day before, 4, 6, 6. So price is pulling back with lighter volume. But uh, if price closes underneath 1837 today, John, then we have to take the chart back even further because then the next swing point is where price may be targeting. And that takes you all the way back in the 2017 lows in the 1588 range out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at Whiting Petroleum. If I look at yesterday's charts, um, it made wave number seven, uh, not yesterday, the day before. So that pattern, if we see a lower low than the day, uh, uh, than Wednesday, which it appears we will, don't know how this will trade at 9.30, though. But in the aftermarket uh, or pre-market, we, we are seeing that. Then that voids that pattern out there. And all that we would really have to go with would be the uh, swing point analysis on lighter volume out here. It doesn't look good. We take a look at the weekly time frame chart. Weekly time frame chart, you know, below profiles of monthly and quarterly. All the quarter's not over is below all profiles there. So I say you've got to be careful here. I understand the bottom fishing, but right now that bottom fishing inside of Whiting Petroleum could take you all the way back to the 1588 level out there. So uh, keep looking at, see if you get a rejection of 1837 on light, on light volume, then you may have something to take a look at. The other symbol that John wanted to look at is ticker symbol M-E-E-T. That's the meat group and uh, meat cute out here uh, looking for a bottom. So we take a look at profiles daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, below daily, below weekly, uh, trading with inside the monthly profile. But this means price could get back to 252 to 284 below the bottom of the uh, quarterly, which was 404. Are there any patterns out here that we can see inside of meat? Well, we can see the price is moving lower, doing with less relative energy, but uh, no bullish reversal signal here. There's also the A to B equals CD pattern. Uh, that comes in looking like this. Uh, would it be right here or would it be right there? So you can see it's made the 1 to 1.272 um, pattern out here. So, and it uh, looks like uh, today could be TD set up nine count. So we don't have the, we don't have any type of confirmation. In this specific instance here, even if we were to get some type of bullish reversal signal out here, John, I would say what you need to see is a close above Stevie's red line from the daily time frame chart. That's four dollars and three cents before you would entertain a trade. Four dollars and three cents. No profile to back you up daily or weekly, but that's what I would be looking at as you take a look at uh, meat. The breakout area from a weekly perspective inside of meat is down here. Down here, by the way, is the trading week of December 28th, and that price level is 351. So the weekly says, hey, look, I made this rose momentum indicator top. That should take me back to support or the breakout area, and now you've got your breakout area. So look at 351 as another possible level as to where price inside of M double E T is headed to. Hope that helps you out. Peter in Park City wants to take a look at Goldilocks. And so we shall. Pete, I know that you like to take a look at uh, gold price and all the major currencies out there. So let's begin there. As we take a look at gold, here's what we see. We can see that gold is moving higher in U.S. dollars, moving higher in euros, uh, moving lower in yen, moving higher inside of pound sterling. What happened to those folks over in uh, Japan drinking sake tonight and not bidding gold up? Well, what is this? Trading slightly lower in their currency. The other thing, Peter, as we take a look at gold on this chart, what you can see is price right now is trading right at about the bottom of that weekly profile. Will that old support become resistance out here? I don't know. That number is 1,300 even, Stephen, out there. And even if it doesn't, Peter, what you really want to see if you're long gold, what you'd really like to see is you'd like to see it close above 1,306, even Stephen. 1306 happens to be the top of its daily profile uh, for the July contract out there. So I would say gold is not exactly out of the woods just yet. 
I would say it would be out of the woods if price could close above 1306. And then what we should see is a move to 1320. And above that, 1341 becomes the number. I don't know if there's anything else for you and I really to look at when it comes to gold. I think that chart says it all uh, for the most part. Um, you know, it been in a consolidation type zone out here. And, you know, is this the setup, this move right now today, just simply the top of that consolidation? We used to think it was around the 1296 level. Uh, but um, why wow, those numbers are so different than uh, the well, let's go. Let's go take a look at that. Let me let me do that. Let's pull up. Uh, the August, did I say August? Let's pull up the August numbers out here. Uh, here, when we take a look at this, let's wait. This will populate with the uh, profile. So here's the profile. So uh, are they, they, they're just slightly different, right? Remember those numbers that we were taking a look at on my other screen, and, and I didn't make, I didn't state that. So good, good question. Good thing to point out. Uh, the numbers that we were looking at on my other screen uh, were coming from my uh, composite version of the gold contract. The gold contract just rolled a couple days ago from June to August. And during that rollover time period, Peter, what I like to do is really take a look at that, uh, that, that stitched together version. It's not the continuous contract. Uh, is stitch, is take, is take a look at that to understand where, where, forget about the numbers, where is price trading in relationship to those profiles. Now, the good news is we also happen to have the same or similar profiles, not probably not the same uh, profiles here. We can see that gold is also trading into the bottom of the August contract weekly profile. But it's very easy. So if this, if you, if we were to take away, so we know that, right, Peter? And then you can see the 1308.30 level. So, so there's the number really that you need to see gold close above on a daily basis to then say 1321, 1341. But if we were, if, if we didn't have profiles, if we turn those off, which is what we'll do next, if we didn't have profiles, what pattern is it that we could write in here? Clearly, we can see the bottom, right? The bottom being here, uh, uh, in essence, was an area that was tested that takes you back to April 23rd. So, you know, some people could call that a triple bottom, I suppose. I don't think you call it anything until you break the top of the so-called triple bottom. And we don't even know if we really have that here. It's possible that the consolidation pattern, another, another way of saying consolidation, is in play with that top being in this 1308 area. This could be our consolidation Used to be we thought it was down here at about the 1295 or 1300 level. But right now, this could be the consolidation. And then when we turn on those profiles out here, and I wish I had a crystal ball, but as we turn on those profiles, geez, right at the top of that consolidation is the top of the daily box out there. Maybe you've got a different interpretation. I think in order for gold to really break out, to really prove itself, we must see a close above 1308. We'll be right back. If you are in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from 30000 to 75000 the interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. If you're listening at the normal segment time, 142, it's actually 842 in the morning. Uh, we're recording today's show uh, and, and have a great uh, weekend out there. We're trying to make this as pertinent for you as we can. Um, and the uh, next thing that we're looking at here is for one of our uh, denners. Uh, that's Ruby inside the Tiger's Den. And Ruby was asking the question about platinum. And she's been trading uh, platinum using 790 as resistance and 796 as uh i'm sorry 796 the resistance is 790 as support uh ruby very close to those numbers are this 30 minute time frame uh chart that we're looking at a uh, 60 minute i apologize 60 minute time frame is what we have up on the screen and its TAS market profiles would say resistance is at 797.30 and support at 789.30 so you've got the consolidation pattern the structure of this box as you can see is bearish in nature uh, we say that because the center line at 794 is closer to the top, 797, than to the bottom. So there's more sellers lined up between 797 and 794. Uh, and those sellers have been successful at pushing price down to the bottom in that 789 level. Didn't actually hit it during this last hour. It got down to 789.70 for 789.30. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, there is, uh, uh, and I don't know which, when you say you were trading this, you're trading to both sides. So at this stage here, it looks like you've taken the long side uh, with the stop below 789. Um, the low out here takes you back to about 9 o'clock in the morning um, yesterday, and that low is 788.30. So really, for all intents and purposes, your stop uh, should be below that or certainly a close below 789.30. Now, this is the 60-minute time frame chart. When we take a look at all the time frame charts out here, what we don't see is any clear sign of any kind of a bottom. We don't see a close above the top of any profile out there. Just buying and selling, no, no short, just buying, okay. Well, um, uh, so be careful on the just buying. You've got price that's below a profile that formed this week at 801.70. Price below 795.90. Uh, that must be a prior swing point. Well, that's within the swing point, so there's the swing point that it's testing. Um, but when I look at this daily time frame chart out here, Ruby, uh, I don't see a sign of a bottom. I do see the breakout area, and so prices looks like it's coming back to that. This is the daily time frame chart, and that's the February 5th low. Uh, that fifth low is 785.10. But even if price gets back there, what you'd really like to see is you'd like to see a TD setup nine count occurring right as price is hitting or close to hitting that support level out there. So I don't have a pattern. Certainly, if there's the A to B equals CD, we don't have any kind of bullish reversal signal. So uh, although I, I, you know, I, I know you're fishing around looking for a bottom, a bottom will form 
when the bulls tell us it's going to form. And that's the whole purpose of understanding these patterns here, whether it's the A to B equals CD, whether it's a TD setup nine count, whatever it might be, and just simply understand that price continues lower until the bulls arrive out here. That's really the whole beauty of candlestick charting. But again, it's really the beauty of it is not using it on its own. It's about being able to use it combined with other patterns out here. Does the TD setup nine count pattern work all the time? No, I haven't found one pattern that works all the time. But look, at it, it works enough to be paying attention to it. Here's a top out here on February 28th, the nine count price moves back. Here's a bottom, it occurs on the eight count back on January 22nd. Um, here's a uh, eight count uh, short term high that occurs on March 21st, you know, turns into be more of a sideways move. Here's one that totally fails. The bar after bar nine didn't cause a uh, low because the following bar made an even lower low out here. So it tells us, Ruby, a lot of momentum inside of platinum to the downside uh, would almost make you think, geez, the move in gold is more headline news related. But remember, I won't remember the news. Um, when we take a look at charts going back, we just can only rely upon support and resistance, as you are. And inside the case of gold, we're saying, hey, it's got to break above the top of its daily box. No box out here for um, for um, no box out here for platinum, and the um, the weekly chart here, you know, it's breakout. You got that breakout level, that horizontal line from September 2018, 776. But but no no real bottoming pattern or signal here from the weekly time frame. So at 8:47 in the morning, with regard to platinum, I think you've got to be careful. No problem going to the long side because on that 60-minute time frame chart, we can see the consolidation. Uh, it may struggle to close above the center line of that box is 794.30. So just another two bucks to the upside, two buck chuck. So I would watch that area closely. I didn't mean to write in two minutes, although that's what we've got. I meant to put in 30 minutes, uh, although I will put in that two-minute chart. Yeah, so the 30-minute profile is not really much there. Um, if I do put in the two minute profile just for the just for blanks and giggles out here, I would suggest at this stage in looking at it that uh, if price can get above the 793 level, um, you know, a little bit higher is in the cards out there. But hey, we're not going to chart. We're not we're not going to we're not going to start uh, trading up of a two minute pattern only because I can't be here to update you on what just takes place every couple of minutes out there. So. Rube, best of luck in trading platinum. Hopefully that information that I provided you is going to be uh, helpful. So no other requests that we've got in the uh, bullpen. And, oh, I take that back. Uh, Tim writes in, and let's go take a look at Tim's question. Tim writes in and says, uh, are, we near good, are we near a good entry point for AMTD? Is that Ameritrade? AMTD is the ticker symbol. That is Ameritrade. Let's get it up on uh, both of my systems out here. And you're welcome, Ruby. Um, just to, hey, we're, we all take a look. We all have you. We are all each other's wing men or women out here. Take a look at Peter. He's already corrected me twice today out there. You know, uh, we need more eyes out here. He's assisted me uh, uh, twice today. And uh, so we're, we're all here on the same team, uh, really trying to uh, help each other. So the question for Tim is, as we take a look at this chart for Tim, the set of charts, price below the daily, price below the weekly, uh, prices trading down towards the bottom of the uh, monthly profile out here. So nothing great with regard to signals. We can see right now three higher lows on the daily. We can also see uh, lower highs. We can see three higher lows in the weekly. We can see a bunch of higher lows on the uh, monthly chart. But that alone is not going to tell us whether we've got a bottom signal or not. If we take a look at Ameritrade on Stevie's other time frame charts out here, what this would suggest to us, Tim, is that perhaps price, because price is trading below Stevie's red line, that's at 51.38, um, perhaps this is going to try to form a, a TD setup nine count as price is pulling back to that breakout support level, which took place on March 29th. And the level out there would be 49.35. You're asking for a good entry point. If you get price down towards that 49.35, you get a nine count out there, uh, then maybe at that stage, that would be your entry point. If you get a close below that, that's a problem. So I'm not even looking at the swing point. The swing point is March 26th. Instead, we're looking at the low from March 29th as our signal area. 
for what Price wants to do. Right now, Tim, we don't have a buy signal for Ameritrade. You were looking for an entry point, no profile. So instead, we're going to revert to that level of potentially 49.35. We need to see a pattern confirm at that same point in time. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. 8.54 in the morning. If you're listening at 1.54, thanks so much for doing that. We'll be back to normal programming on uh, Monday and want you to have a nice weekend. So for the intraday time period here, for those of you from a morning perspective, um, let's take a look at where a bounce could take us to in the market and uh, uh, where that next potential sell area was for those intraday traders out there. If we begin by taking a look at the Dow Equity Futures contract, what we're going to use for resistance is that green horizontal line set up by the 30-minute uh, time frame. Uh, TD set up nine count. That resistance level to be watching today is a 25031. Any close above 25031 says, hey, price could make its way up to 25322. But that would be the spot where any counter trend move this morning should find resistance. If it doesn't, that's telling you something. Inside the NQ, we've got the same thing. What we would use here is the price point of 7209. Hey, above 7209, you could be taking a look at a move up to 7296 out there. 
Um, so that's what you would be looking for as that counter trend rally should stop there. Uh, now, at 154, it's likely to be different numbers out there. So I'm really just giving this information right now for those folks that are with us here this morning. In the case of the ES Mini, that number out here is going to be 2773.25. That's where any counter trend rally should find resistance this morning. If it doesn't, the market is communicating something to you. With regard to T-bonds out here, they're pulling back slightly. Boy, uh, I don't have a real topping signal out here, but support inside of T-bonds, just so you know, that takes you all the way down into the 152-ish range, 152 and 13, 30 seconds out there as a possible level of a support. In the case of the gold contract, let's finish this up. We had already done the Russell 2000 earlier. Support for gold on a 30-minute basis, it needs to hold 1296. Below 1296, you come all the way to the other breakout level, 1287. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Larry Pesavento is up now from 9 to from 9 to uh, 10 in a recorded show from 1 to 2 as David White's on vacation. Tom O'Brien, 3 to 5. I'll be back with you on Magical Monday. Have a terrific weekend, folks. Take care.